I've taken a lot off of, of, of those. I've, I've probably done that twice where I've stripped the... the this the is egg, recently? Uh, in the last three months. Okay, so you've taken it down... All right, not, so not cut the, pl the, 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 the branches, but to get those leaves oh, those, up there. Those particularly top, those leaves, the those ones that leaves. are affected by aphids or something. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you don't want the tree to grow taller. Tell me how tall you want it to grow. Oh, basically, so I can manage it. And, uh, and you don't have to net it, you want yeah. to be able to reach it. So even at this height here, it's too tall? Too tall. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So what you'll need to do with this tree here is bring it down to this level here, yep. right across. So not all the branches are ideally suited to be pruned that way. So you've got all the growth coming out this way because the sunlight's over here. Yep. There's nothing on this back side. So we need to cut this down and balance it out. So it will stretch out and eventually it'll grow up on this side and out on this side. So you'll have this one-sided half circle tree growing on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, we, you can only maintain it with pruning, so don't allow it to get too tall. The hardwood, the thicker wood on this side, See why it's so much thicker on here, not on this side? Yep. It's because it needs to get above the rest of the foliage, so it's setting up its structure, its integrity, so it can hold larger branches and taller branches. That's the habit of the tree, because it's searching for light. If I'm going to cut it, which I'm going to, you're okay with me doing yes, this? Yep. yep. <laughs> More just happy. making sure everybody's yeah, smiling. No, I'm, I'm, Mum's cool. not smiling at the moment. <laughs> You're smiling? Well, Pat doesn't eat cherries, so she, she doesn't. Eat, she'd be happy if I just <laughs> take it out completely. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, I'm just eyeing it off because I can close my eyes and prune this, but I want to do it right this time. <laughs> okay, we're going to go here. We'll just leave that for now. We'll work back on that one there. That one here is growing in the wrong spot. Can I have those big loppers? I'll start yes. with this one first. The, the, Thank you, sir. The rusted ones? The rusty <laughs> ones that are... I'm going to need that extra leverage on these things. Yep. So I'm taking this off right here. Right. Okay. Whoops. That's okay. Is that, can we plant this somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take it to your house. <laughs> I've got a property at Flowerdale. Yeah, don't worry. It's a perfect, perfect name for it, Flowerdale. Yeah. <laughs> it'll, it'll flower for you too. <laughs> oh, you poor child. <laughs> um, you may need to paint this over because these are blunt as buggery. So clean that up and yep. put a bit of paint on it if you can. Bit of paint, yes. Yeah, just to seal it over. So we've done... I'll Is that why I struggle? Do you sell them? <laughs> Stary prune paint? Yes, we do. No, I mean, do you have these? Oh, the, the... oh, this size here? No, but it's something I should bring online for you, huh? Yeah, I'll have a pair of them if no you... No worries, I'll get that organised. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the other pair. <laughs> yeah, we you work our way down. Paint, yeah, Stary prune paint. Or, or tree stack. Now, we're just going to cut this all down to a little... See, so I want to take this out completely because it's literally growing in the wrong we'll direction. Right, yeah. Yep. I'm going to try and get this bud to burst out and come out this way and train it from here onwards. And this has to come down. That's too tall. Even if I cut it there, it's going to shoot back up again. So we're going to cut that down to there. I'm learning a lot from this. All right. Well, it makes it easier that you can maintain don't it from this height yeah. without so, being on a step ladder. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So yeah. Now, what I've got here is a, a, a branch that's showing lots of buds potential spurs that could fruit for you yes. on here. I don't want to take them all off. All you've got to do is make sure none of this takes off too hard. Cut it right back to this height again yep. in springtime. Um, after it's finished flowering and you see any new growth come on, cut it right back. Don't let it stretch out too far. Because okay. it's a good area where you can have a cluster of cherries coming on without yep. too much growth coming on. But it'll need to be continuously pruned to be trained to stay down small. So I'm just taking all these little suckers up, off. Now, with, with this being reduced to this level, will that still fruit next yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. It should. You'll get fruit from down here. Oh, OK. Down here. Comfortably. That's fine. That's all we need. Well, yeah, just take that off. That's it. That's a start. It's still a bit too long on this side, but... No, look, I'm happy with that. Yeah. I sort of kind of like leaving a little bit here because we may get something off this. But if we don't, then we just take that back and I'll try and get some more light back here to grow. Yeah. Don't let it grow too big here so it can grow here. Yep. Okay. Same with that one too, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, no, I mean, oh, no, no, I'll prune it. We should get him to do it. I just meant as yeah. an example that, that he's... That yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He exactly, exactly the same. We yeah. can bring it right down. Yeah. We can just do this now. And the way I prune my trees yeah. is this sort of pace. Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, we will do this. You want, you want the other one? Nah. They're sharp enough. Just going to take it off there. And that's too long. 
I'm going to take that side off now. Yeah, we'll take this off completely. Start again. Yep. Oh, that's... Nah, not happy. That's it. Better. Terrific. Thank you. It's open up. Not yeah. the perfect shape, but we've got to work with it. That's all right. Yeah. And just each year you'll find a new branch that you can get a better branch or shape out of it and you remove the old one. Yeah. And take out this sucker too at the bottom. And there you are. Thank you very much. Well, just a question, Vasily. Mm -hmm. With any of the offcuts, yep. can any of these be propagated into... into as cuttings? No, as not cuttings. this time of year. No. But in, uh, if you were to keep these and put them in the fridge or freezer, one of those two, um, uh, wrap them up in water, in paper towel and water, and store them in a coals thing, you can actually keep them for a couple of months so you can graft onto in late winter. But it, look, it's really early to do it now. Yep. Um, but you would graft these on, so you would basically if I hold this. I'll give you a quick demonstration, sorry. Where are we? Let's find a branch here. So if you love your plants yep. and you want to take a cutting, you can take one off this later in the season when they do the cuttings. And you go up to your tree, a branch like that, open it up. Yep. You get this one, do a wedge shape like that. Insert onto the side like that. See, so line up the one side, yep. and that's where the sap flows. It doesn't line up on the other side, it doesn't no. matter. Tape it up with, that, with tape. One, two, maybe three buds, cut the rest of it off. Perfect. On the tree you have, and by, well, you know, September, October, that'll be growing. Oh. So you do that in July. In July. Keep that as a, a sample. All right, I will. I'll put this in the freezer in, in paper towel. Well, you can, but this one won't survive. I mean, it won't survive that long from right. February, March, April, May, June, July. It may. But um, you're better off coming out here in the oh. heart of winter and getting some more cuttings. Okay. Pencil thickness and do the same demo. Follow us. Um, if you, you'll hear me talking about it's time to graft your fruit trees. We have a winter grafting session just before spring. It's around August uh, with Craig Castry. We will be talking about it and you'll see how we do it. We'll demonstrate it as well and you can come out here and do the same demo. Okay. Lovely. No, so hello you. to everyone. Hello everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like... I'm listening as well. I'm, I'm listening. But I'm listening you at the same time. You ladies are like, yeah, you yeah. are exactly like my family. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, just, you're always taking the piss out of me. I'm, I'm listening intently on what to do. I'm on your side here, mate. I'm standing on this side of the fence. Look at this. It's a bit droopy. What do you want? It's going through its dormant stage it's dropping its leaves now see that <laughs> it will you can give it a bit of a water it won't hurt it but don't over do not fertilize it now don't fertilize no it. no fertilizing and that's with every fruit tree deciduous fruit tree if you feed them now you're going to put them back into a growth spurt they're meant to be going to sleep um, you can put the black green that won't make it grow but any nitrogen based fertilizer like manures and that not until august yeah but essie